Sometimes it's the little things that make the difference. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. I really do believe that one of the most helpful things to come from consistently uh, training, and, and, and I don't I mean that different from working out, you know, not necessarily just movement, but like working towards some goal, whether that's adding weight to the bar, or whether that's, you know, running 15 miles, or whatever, reducing your run time, or whatever. Some kind of like consistent, goal-oriented physical activity. I think one of the biggest benefits that come from that is mental toughness. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the Navy SEALs, right? I just thought they were like the coolest thing ever. And so I did lots of research about, you know, buds and their training and all that kind of stuff. And I remember coming across some quote somewhere where they said, you know, we want buds to be 90% mental and 10% physical. And that sounds cool, but if you've ever reviewed the, you know, physical training requirements for buds, uh, it's no joke, right? I mean, these guys are doing like four mile ocean swims and four mile um, beach runs. And like at one point, I think there's like a 16 mile run involved. And I mean, they're running all the time. They're swimming in the ocean all the time. Like it's physically exhausting and demanding stuff. And so you can read that quote and then you can look at the training and you can be like, whoa, 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 wait a second here. What? This doesn't match up, right? But I think whoever designed that really understood something, which is that when you are exerting yourself physically, you reach a point where you want to quit. And at that point, you can decide to go on or not. It's really that simple. It's not easy, but it's really that simple. And when you are consistently physically pushing yourself, either to lift more weight or to do one more pull up or whatever, you are building that mental toughness. And so for that reason alone, I would encourage you to do some kind of strenuous physical activity on a regular basis. Again, whether that's you know trying to get down to a six mile run or whatever, or whether that's trying to get up to a 500 pound deadlift or whatever, Along that path, there is a lot more value in building that mental toughness and building that mental endurance than there is, I would argue, from the physical benefits. And don't get me wrong, being able to deadlift 500 pounds or run a six minute mile or whatever are really nice and are only ever gonna help you. However, I think the mental toughness is even of more value because as you probably know, right, that transfers over to other things. If, if you're like me and you're just kind of an everyday guy and you're thinking, you know, how do I build that mental toughness so that when the going gets tough, I'm not going to quit? How do I know I'm not just going to fold under the pressure? I think this is one small way that you can contribute to that. Are there other ways? Yes. But if you are consistently pushing yourself, you're consistently refusing to say no, and you're consistently going beyond that, well, when the going gets tough, what do you think you're going to do? Nobody suddenly does anything, right? You, you do what you've been training yourself to do. And if you've been training yourself to push through mental barriers, then when mental barriers arise, guess what you're gonna do? If you've been training yourself to not push yourself, and you've been training yourself to just be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, forget it, I quit, it's too hard, whatever, well then when difficulties arise, guess what you're gonna do, right? There's, there's this thing where we tend to think like, you know, when the moment comes, I'll just, I'll dig deep and I'll reach down and I'll have it and it'll be there and I'll just go on. Well, again, if you're not storing up that stockpile now, when you reach down to grab something, nothing's going to be there. This whole thing came up because I was doing deadlifts a couple days ago and I finished three reps. I went to pull my fourth rep and I had like some kind of like hiccup that was like stuck somewhere in my throat and it felt like my throat was going to like explode. It was just really weird, really weird feeling. And I got down there and I started to pull my fourth and I couldn't get it. And I said, I said out loud, which is really weird. I was, I was in a room by myself, so it wasn't too weird, but I said, no, like I'm not, I'm not going to quit here. And I gutted it. I pulled up the fourth and the fifth and I completed my set. Right. And there's, again, there's a mental toughness that's being built there by refusing to quit when everything I want to do is just quit. So if you haven't worked in your mental toughness, if you're not doing something to continually push yourself physically beyond what you think you can do, then I would encourage you to start doing that because we're going to need that mental toughness. Trust me. Do brave deeds and endure.